Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a kind of sewed text effect in Adobe Illustrator. And this will give your text kind of a rounded, raised look that looks like sewing. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here in Illustrator, and I'm just going to come up here to Create New. We'll go to Print, and then I'll choose Letter, and then I'll Create. Now to create this style of text, we're going to need a free font. It's called Dankin Stripes. And you can just go out to fontbundles.net slash free fonts other and Dankin Stripes. And you can download it here. And the link will also be in the description. To download this for free, you'll need to log in to Font Bundles, but you can get a free account. It's no big deal. Okay, so I'm downloading it now. If you're in Chrome, you'll see it come right down here to the bottom left. We'll click on this little carrot and choose Show in Finder. And this one is a zip file, so on a Mac, you can just double click and double click the new folder it makes, and then double click the OTF file and install font. If you're on a PC, you'll want to right click the zip file and choose Extract or Extract All. And then you can just double click the OTF also to install it. Okay, let's go back to Illustrator and we'll type some text. I'll hit T on my keyboard and click once. And I'm just going to type THREAD in all caps. I'll get back on my selection tool, grab a corner and hold SHIFT, and resize it until it's pretty big. Then I'll change my font to Dankin Stripes. Now if you don't see your bar up here, you can go to Window, Control. It's right here. And if you're not seeing the same palettes over here, you can go to Window and see all those right here. So this font already looks like thread a little bit, so that is very helpful. Let's make a copy off to the side. I'll hold Shift and Option or Alt on a PC. And then I'm going to click on the original and do Shift Command O. That's Shift Control O on a PC. You can also go to Type, Create Outlines. Now this will make your text not editable anymore. So you can't have it say anything other than thread. And that's why I added this one over here that you can still type into. Okay, now we want Illustrator to see these little stripes as individual pieces. So let's ungroup them with Shift Command G or Shift Control G. We can do that a few times. Now this shows that it's a compound path. That also helps Illustrator to see that it's one shape. And we want Illustrator to see all of these as individual shapes. So let's release the compound path. We can come up here to Object, Compound Path, Release. Okay, let's zoom in on these by hitting Z on your keyboard and just choosing a spot to zoom in on. To make these look a little more like sewn threads, we'll need to roughen them a bit. So let's go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Roughen. And let's go ahead and make this one pixel. We want absolute and we'll preview this so we can see what's going on. You can see it's a little bit rougher than it was. And then let's change the detail to five per inch. And we want smooth points. Okay, we'll say okay. And now you'll notice that your paths don't really line up anymore with the blue areas. To make those little pieces match, we'll go to object, expand appearance. And now the blue parts follow the black exactly. I'm hitting Command minus or Control minus to zoom out. Now let's go to Effect and Warp. And then we'll go to Arch. And this will help to make it look even more like thread. Now we don't want the bin to be that crazy. Let's go ahead and put it at a negative number. So it's down a little bit. I think negative 10 looks good. We'll say OK. And now I'm going to take some of the pieces and just copy and paste in front. That's Command F or Control F. And just kind of move them so that they look a little more like thread. I'm going to do that to the T also. I'm just going to grab this piece and just Option drag it over here. And I'll hit R and, and rotate it a little bit. By the way, Option and Alt are the same thing. So if you're on a PC, that would be Alt to make a copy. I'm going to Command minus to zoom out. Okay, and this is looking nice and thready. Let's select everything and go to Object Expand Appearance. And this makes all the blue path lines match the black path lines. Okay, I'm going to zoom in again so we can see exactly what we're doing. Um, let's go to Pathfinder and make sure these are one piece. So to do that, we'll unite them. 
and that joins those pieces together. Let's change our thread color to a mid-tone blue, maybe a little bit darker. And I want to have a rounded effect. And to do that, I'm going to copy this and paste behind with Command-B or Control-B. Then I'm just going to move it over and up. Now, if yours jumps too far, you can hit Command-K or Control-K and change your keyboard increment to a lesser number. Uh, for me, one point is fine, so I'll say OK. And I want the upper part to be lighter blue, so I'm going to choose a lighter blue. You can see how it kind of gives it a 3D effect. Let's click off of that and grab that darker blue, copy and paste behind, Command-C and Command-B, Control-C and Control-B on a PC. We'll move this one down a little bit and over also. Maybe not quite so far. I'm just going to move it a little bit over. And then I'm going to double click on my blue and get a much darker blue. Let's move it a little more. We can also grab each piece and move it around again if we don't like how far we went with it. So I think I'm going to move this one in so it's not getting so close to some of these parts. I'll command minus and zoom out to see how it looks. OK, it's looking a lot like thread now. I'll hit V and I'm going to select everything and I'll copy it and paste behind with Command B. And I'll group this one. Now I want to combine all of those shapes into one shape. And to do that, I'll come over here to Pathfinder, Unite. And you can't see it because it's exactly back there, but now I'm going to apply a drop shadow to that. So we'll come up here to Effect, Stylize, and Drop Shadow. And we'll preview this. And now you can see a little tiny black drop shadow back there. Uh, I think 25 opacity is nice. You can play with the offset and the blur to see what you like. We'll say OK. All right, now I'm going to give this a background. So I'll hit M on my keyboard and draw a rectangle. I'll hit Shift Command left bracket or Shift Control left bracket. And I'm going to come down here to a quite a bit darker blue. And that's it. Now we have a kind of embroidered thread look for our text. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.